Hello world, I hope you're having an amazing day. <laughs> nice Al here, formerly Geeky Boost Guy. Just a quick little intro. Um, I know I've been gone for a long time, I haven't done a lot of um, filming. <sighs> I know um, the last videos that were on my YouTube channel were uh, just gaming videos and that was probably, I mean, at least a year ago, at least. Um, but because of COVID and everything that's been going on, I've been going through a lot of stuff. Just different things, uh, job changes, um, just adjusting to life, COVID life and all that kind of stuff, as everyone else has been. It is March 11th, 2021, which is a strange thing for me to say, um, especially on a video, because I haven't done one for so long. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't even do one for the whole of 2020, um, but again, that's because of so much everything that was going on and stuff like that. So. Um, and I apologise for, for the quality of this video, the, the state of me, <laughs> me hair, uh, the lighting. This has all just been pretty um, rushed, put together kind of thing because um, of something I'll explain in a minute. So, um, apologies, I'm actually working tonight. Um, I'm actually working nights now. Um, so, I'll be doing, um, I'll be starting tonight at 11 um, until 7 a.m. So I was literally just getting into bed. Um, I tried to stay up as, as long as possible last night just to try and sort my sleeping pattern out just so I could sleep to, uh, just today and then go to work tonight. So yeah, um, the, the end of 2019, beginning of 2020, I, um, I deleted my cosplay Instagram. Um, I just needed a little bit of time away because of COVID was starting and stuff like that. And just generally because of the, the the vibe I was getting from the cosplay community. Well, I mean, not not the majority of the cosplay community, but just the small percentage of it. Um, I was getting a lot of negativity. Uh, not myself, but I was seeing a lot of negativity on Instagram and things like that. Um, so it kind of kind of knocked me a little bit from from the cosplay community and stuff and I think just this year was a perfect year to kind of or 2020 was was a perfect year to kind of take some time off and um, just work on me a little bit kind of put the cosplay stuff on the back burner I'm back started a new Instagram um, cosplay Instagram so and I've changed my name obviously beforehand when I had my old Instagram I was geeky boost guy um, and I've kind of been reborn a little bit from the ashes. <laughs> so now I am the uh, Night Owl cosplay. Um, on YouTube it's the Night Owl and on Instagram it's just Night Owl cosplay. Um, so yeah, so I just kind of thought I'd have a little bit of a refresh, freshen up me, me name, me Instagram, me cosplays, stuff like that. Just kind of completely have a fresh start because, I, like I said, it's, it's March of 2021. So hopefully COVID's starting to die down a little bit. I think everything's going to start opening up again. And then hopefully there are um, Comic-Cons planned for the end of the year. So November time, something like that will probably be my next, uh, my next Comic-Con. Um, it's probably going to be Birmingham. Now Birmingham, um, MCM Birmingham and Liverpool Comic Con are on at the same weekend. So um, I know I'm from Liverpool, so Liverpool will be closer, but I just feel like it'd be nice to get away, go to Birmingham, kind of have a little bit of a road trip. I'll drive down there, me and Adam, my best friend, will drive down there and we will stay with his mum. His mum lives down there um, in Coventry. So very close to Birmingham Comic Con. Um, so we'll go down there and we'll stay there for a little bit and um, I just think it'll be a nice 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 little getaway a nice little um, nice little holiday just to get away just to kind of because of this whole year everyone's been stuck indoors and stuff like that like again I could go to Liverpool Comic Con it's a lot closer it's a lot easier for me but it would just be staying here and getting changed in my cosplay going and picking Adam up and then going into town and stuff and it's just I just feel like I want to get away. I want to have a little trip, a little road trip at before now. Like I said, I'll drive down there. It takes a few hours to drive down. Drive down, go and stay there for a few days, maybe from Friday till Monday, then go the Saturday and Sunday to Birmingham Comic Con. So that'll be really good. Now, to get onto the the, the meaty part of this video, funnily enough, um, I'm watching Cosplay Chris as we speak. Um, but um, all through lockdown, I didn't watch any cosplay um, YouTubers. I didn't watch anything like that. I didn't watch. I just literally put all of the cosplay stuff, the, the whole cosplay side of my life away, 
and um, to be honest I feel like that was de detrimental to me um, in, a, in a little bit of a sense because I'm, I'm, I'm so into it, I love my cosplay, I love all the geeky stuff um, I love collecting geeky things. I love being immersed in the in the cosplay community and stuff. So to be honest, it was good to work on myself and my mental health and stuff like that. But I did miss it. I did miss the cosplay community. So that's why I've came back, obviously ready for Comic Cons to start again and stuff like that. So again, I think it was the perfect time to have some time off. But I'm back. So um, and I've started watching videos again. I've started watching cosplay Chris again. Started watching a lot of his things. And funnily enough. I bought a um, cosplay, and I'll be showing it now. I'll be, I'll be uh, opening the box and kind of. I haven't opened the box. I've just received it maybe about half an hour ago, something like that. And then I set the camera up and everything in a rush, just to get it filmed, so then I can open the box just to to show on camera because I really wanted to open it on the camera so you can see me re reaction and stuff. Um, but funnily enough, I bought the cosplay. And then I started watching Cosplay Chris again, and funnily enough, not long ago, a few months ago, he started the exact same cosplay, which is great because I, I really like Cosplay Chris. Uh, he's a he's a big idol to me in the cosplay community. Um, I love watching his videos. He gives me ideas for different things. I've watched them for years. I've done a lot of custom collectibles and stuff like that, the same as he has. And um, yeah, it was just he's just a, an amazing guy to watch and a, and a big inspiration for me, kind of thing. So. Um, but yeah, it was just a funny little a little thing that I, I actually bought the cosplay and then when I was watching him I think it was maybe four or five months ago. He got this cosplay. So it's a, a funny little coincidence um, But anyway, so I'm gonna open the, the, the box. Okay, so here's the box um, Don't really want to show you the front of it because it has got my address and things like that on. But I'll just take out the the receipt so that's there um, funny enough I just want to show you um, I just want to show you the name so this cosplay actually came from white sheep leather um, which will probably give you an idea of what the cosplay is um, it's actually a company in it's actually a company in Pakistan um, and as soon as I bought it, I just sent them an email just to get an idea of how long it was going to take for them to send it to me, like just what 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 I was looking at, kind of thing. I don't like kind of annoying companies once you've bought a cosplay and stuff, especially the the quality of this cosplay is is incredible. Um, but I just wanted to have an idea of just how long I was going to have to wait. Now I ordered my cosplay about a week ago, like seriously, about a week ago. And I think it was just under a week, maybe six days that I, I ordered it ago, and it's already here. Now, I did not expect that at all. Like, I did not expect it to be six days. They said it would be, be up to 25 days. Um, but I just want to show you how how they've spelt my name. Uh, now, my name's Thomas. I like to be called Tom. But, uh, my name's Thomas. Um, and they have spelt it. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it. So, they actually spelt my name, Thomas, as Thamos. <laughs> Thamos is uh, is my name. They spelt my last name wrong as well, but I just like the, 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 the first name, Thanos. Yeah, I just thought that was extremely funny. It's quite appropriate for, for the cosplay that I'm about to show you. So that's quite funny. Um, but anyway, enough talking. Let's get to it because I'm very excited to get it out and try it on and just just have a little play around with it. Now I will be doing a lot of things to it. Um, again, I've seen cosplay Chris. Um, he got the costume and he's done a few things that usually I would do to uh, do um, anyway to it. Just add a little bit of Velcro just to give certain things a little bit more stability and stuff like that. So yeah. But anyway, let's get to it. Okay. So, let's get into it. I always get very um, paranoid about new cosplays and things like that because I think, um, is everything going to be right in it? Is the size going to be right and everything? But I did measure, I did properly measure it. Um, I'm, I, because I haven't measured myself in a long time, I, I, uh, I measured myself or I got someone else to help measure me. 
and uh, just double check the sizes make sure everything would fit right so but I still have that um, I still have that little bit of concern but that's just my anxiety so <laughs> okay so let's show you this now can you see what it is yet okay Okay, so it's a little bit packaged differently than um, Cosplay Chris's, but you probably can't really see what that is, but I'll get the main piece out and I'll show you guys, as you can see, I'm sure you can probably tell by now what it is, there's the Metal Star, as you can see, okay let me just drop the box on the floor and I'll just show you, oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. So obviously it's Captain America's costume from Endgame. Oh, now I can see on it. I mean, it doesn't really matter much. I'm not sure how well you can tell on the camera and stuff, but it does have already a little bit of dirt on it, um, just on the white bits. But I'm obviously going to be doing a lot of weathering to this anyway, just to make it look like from the scenes from the end of the film. Um, so it's going to be a lot dirtier than what it is now. So I don't really mind that. I'm, I'm, I'm not really that bothered about that. But metal star, lovely metal star right there. Okay. There's the back. Now, one of the things Cosplay Chris did, there is a little pouch that comes, that opens. Obviously, there's the zip that's on, inside and then the actual um, covers over it. He actually put a little bit of Velcro there just to hold it down on the back. Um, oh, look at that. Um, so, obviously, this is, these are the straps of the arms. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, when the straps go on, um, sometimes it pulls this up a little bit. Cosplay Chris, Chris said. Um, now I'm going to put a little bit of Velcro on, basically the exact same thing that Cosplay Chris has done, um, just to keep that down. Again, a little bit of, little bit of marks on there and stuff, but I'm sure I'll, I'll dirty it up and it'll look fine. Um, but yeah, once I put the, the actual straps on, now I got the exact same that uh, Cosplay Chris did. The the actual accessories are real leather, so the actual. Um, Shoulder straps, the real leather, I can actually smell it. Oh, that leather. Um, the whole thing is just, just smelling it, it's like a newborn baby. Oh, we've got the belt, okay. Again, real leather, um, metal uh, buckle. Now, Cosplay Chris actually um, did like a, um, a rubber, um, belt buckle to go on the front just so it bends a little bit more with the belt I'm not really gonna do that um, I actually quite like the metal accessories on on costume so I'm gonna keep the metal uh, buckle I may it does seem like it moves around a little bit I may glue that down just so it holds it in place a little bit better but um, all in all I don't mind about having the metal buckle um, I think that's just preferences and um, cosplay Chris is very good at um, at actually making his own rubber um, accessories and things like that he actually molds casts and does a lot of things like that which I don't I would love to get into but yeah um, the quality of the leather is really good I can smell the real leather it's amazing um, I like the thickness of the leather as well so the leather belt when you put it on I feel like it's gonna be really feel like a really substantial thing on um, there's just so much to go through so I do apologize I'm just really like in awe of the costume <laughs> okay so that's the belt okay so we've got the gloves okay so real leather gloves and um, another thing on the actual vest of the costume um, where the belt will go across here or go across the line the seam of the vest obviously over the pants and stuff I will be putting a a piece of velcro again the same thing that cosplay Chris did he put a little bit of velcro on there and then a little bit of velcro on the inside of the belt so when the belt goes down it, it looks amazing but I mean I'm so happy now as you can see you can see the um, 
the scales on the actual vest and there's the scales on the actual undersuit as well on the shoulders now um, on cosplay Chris's I did take a few things from cosplay Chris's video bought a upgrade kit for the scales so there's a guy on um, on Instagram who does um, an upgrade kit for this costume and he has the rubber scales that come with it now what I'll have to do is unpick the, the bit around the star as well as the star and different bits and then there's a upgrade kit that comes on and the scales that come with it are a lot thicker rubber and um, that sits on it and it just makes the costume look so much better so um, that's what I'm going to be doing as well I'm going to be purchasing that upgrade as well I'm just so happy these gloves are so cool <laughs> but anyway um, yeah so um, there's, and as well I haven't filmed the video in a long time so I, I didn't think I thought I'd have a little bit more time to prepare to get ready maybe do some some testing videos but obviously this has just turned up in like six days so I'm just rushing through it I'm just kind of <sighs> trying to just calm down because this is so exciting to me I can't wait to put it on and try it and see what it feels like on cosplay Chris got this helmet and I watched the video and the helmet just looks like one of the top helmets that you could possibly buy if not the best helmet you can buy on the market I mean this costume I would probably say I haven't seen any other costumes like this um, any any end game costumes like this so I'm, I'm very very happy about it um, about having this and, and having this as a clean slate that I can go forward and, and upgrade it and do different things to it so that this is going to be my main cosplay now for, for the new comic cons and stuff like that going forward when they open up I still haven't gotten everything out of the box yet so that's the vest um, okay so I've got the undersuit here I can see the little as you can see the little Avenger symbol um, and we've got the we've got the leather boots bats okay so they're really nice Again, leather. Um, I, I was, I was, I'm so happy. I went for the leather accessories, um, the real leather accessories. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be good. I do have an older co Captain America costume over there. Now that's the uh, Nomad costume. Um, so that is going to be. Um, I've had that for a long time. I'm actually, this. I'm actually a little bit too big for that now. When I put it on, it's a little bit tight on me. So it'd be if I was in a con for eight hours or something like that, it would be a little bit uncomfortable and start to kind of irritate me a little bit because it is just a little bit too small. But this one, I like I said, I remeasured every up my whole body, and I've um, I've gotten the right the right size for myself. So hopefully, when I put it on now, it fits like a glove. Okay, guys. So I've got the pants on. I've got the undersuit, as you can see, you can see the mesh here, which is actually what it's like, what uh, Chris Evans' actual suit was, was made like. Um, so you've got the undersuit for ventilation, things like that, just to keep it a little bit cooler than, than it would be. Uh, and then you've got the vest over there, um, which will go over it, and then it'll, I'm guessing it's going to be Velcroed or... I haven't actually even looked at the costume, I've literally just opened it and then just jumped in and just thrown everything on. Um, oh actually it's uh, they're buttoned, so they'll actually be buttoned in. So it'll go over and then it'll button in and um, then obviously the accessories will go over, the actual the shoulder um, straps and the belt and all that kind of stuff will go over it. Now I'm just feeling that the, the shoulders, have, they've got padding on the inside so it kind of, it just kind of gives you that little, that, that look to kind of form to bring your shoulders out a little bit more like Chris Evans um, in the film. Now the actual fabric is crazy comfortable. I mean it really feels nice. But I may have to have them taken in just a little bit just because there's a little bit of excess there. Just to make it a little bit tighter for when the gloves go on and stuff. But we'll see what it's like when I'm fully kitted up in the whole thing. Um, okay, so that's how it is. I'll give you a little, a little turn around. So let's put the rest of the suit on and see how I look. Okay, so here we go. So I've just put um, my Cat Toys uh, metal shield on, just to show you guys what it looks like with the suit. So here's the suit in all its glory. Um, I've just been kind of, once I put it all on, let me just say, Cosplay Chris said it was hot and he's from Australia and I thought, you know what, it's because he's in Australia but it's 
bloody hot so it's all on um i have noticed obviously putting it on and kind of just feeling it out and stuff like that and all the different parts that are on it putting it on um there is a lot of different things that i'm gonna have to do to it so here we go um again i apologize for the lighting and stuff like that but here's the boot spats um with my uh, sketches on now i think that's perfectly fine um the boot spats are gonna have to on the side there's some um obviously some straps that attach to them what i'm gonna have to do is add some little holes further up just so it makes the spats a little bit tighter the pants the pants are super comfortable they fit very well um there's america's ass um <laughs> So yeah, the pants are perfectly fine. Uh, they feel very comfortable. Like I said, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of weather, weathering on them, just a little bit of um, maybe some shoe polish or something, just brush, brushed over them lightly, just so it, feel, it looks like there's some dirt on the pants, stuff like that. The main thing with this costume, I love it. It's such nice quality. I mean, you can just tell it's made. It's made with really good um, fabrics. It, it just feels like a Captain America costume. It feels like something that he would wear. Overall, I am super happy with the white sheep leather um, costume. Again, to be honest, on the the um, the actual panels, um, the scales actually look really nice. They actually feel very, very spongy. It's very nice how it's made. The metal, the metal stars, like very good. Um, it just feels like I said. It feels like a costume it feels like something you would put on again it would only be i'm just going to be tightening some bits up just just for my size for obviously my build my size i'll just be tightening a few little bits up like i said i'll probably take it to the tailor just so it's someone professionally doing it and it'll just they'll take measurements and stuff like that just make sure that it is perfect for them, and it'll be a lot easier for them to do as well so i'm probably going to do that um but all in all I, I, it's so nice it, it's such a nice costume to wear i mean it feels very good like there's no restrictions so um again wearing my deadpool costume i am just so used to not being able to sit down because of the swords on my back and stuff like that but this costume i'm, I'm going to be able to in a con i'm going to be able to sit down i'm going to be able to relax i'm going to be able to just generally especially i'm going to get the helmet now with the helmet i'm going to put this helmet on and i'm going to be able to actually drink with the helmet on i'm actually going to be able to talk properly i'm going to actually be able to breathe properly instead of wearing the deadpool helmet which obviously restricts breathing you not you have to take it off if you want to drink and to talk to people properly and just stuff like that just when you're speaking to someone someone can't look you in the eyes and actually have a normal conversation with you with the helmet the um the end game captain america costume helmet once i get that I probably won't even be have to take it off for most of the day. I may pop the strap off or something like that just to give me chin a little bit of a breather. Again, when I'm when I'm actually going to a con, I will be shaven, not fully shaven, not a clean shave, but I will I will trim it right down just to stubble, just so when I put the helmet on, it does look more like the character, looks looks more like Captain America, but. I think it will look nice a little bit of stubble on there i'm gonna dirty my face up like i said i'm gonna dirty the costume up um so it is like the end um the end scene in endgame when captain america obviously is standing up against thanos and then the portal start coming and everyone starts coming in um i will start i will do that so i will dirty my face up some blood things like that i probably will get a um, maybe a plastic shield or something like that and do the the cut in the shield and make it look like the shield's broken but obviously this one i probably will take this as well just to kind of have, swap it up a little bit just so i've got the full shield then it's metal just so i can walk around with this um i would like a nice replica of milnia i would like a, a cat toys one as well which is metal which is a pain to be carrying around i mean once you carry this round at a con for eight hours you do feel it in your arm but i mean cosplay is pain anyone who cosplays you will understand that it is just pain um so i don't mind that as long as it looks good the pictures looks good um things like that i don't mind the pain um i have got the actual um axe thor's axe 
which is pretty cool. I could take this to a con and carry this round with the shield. I just think like this would be a cool picture. Now, like I said, it's March. I'm aiming for uh, Birmingham, November. So I've got tons of time to do things. I've got tons of time to work through. Now that's what I'm gonna do slowly but surely. I'm gonna work on these. I'm gonna slowly take things in myself if I can, or I'll take them to the tailor. I'll weather this bad boy up. Um, I'm gonna look at getting the helmet first. But yeah, I'm sweating my absolute chestnuts off. But it's worth it. So yeah, um, super, super happy with the costume. Can't wait to go through and start doing the little things and getting it just, getting the suit just perfect for me, for my body shape and my, my look and stuff. And I can't wait to look at. The next thing will be getting the helmet, ordering the helmet. That's gonna be a little bit, because I have spoken to, um, to the guy who does the helmet, who actually made the helmet for Cosplay Chris. The, that's, that's who I'm gonna go for and get the helmet from. He's got a little bit of a, a weight for the helmet because it's just him on his own making the helmets. So there's no rush for that. Um, I'm gonna leave that a little bit just so I can do some work on the suit, get a little bit nicer towards my body shape and everything. Super happy with it. And then the next thing will be getting the helmet. Once I've got the helmet, I will take a lot more pictures and stuff like that. I will have a little trim just to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like when I'm at a con and stuff like that again it's just little bits all the way through but i'm super happy super 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 happy <laughs> i'm just i'm such a little kid wearing this costume so yeah i'm gonna go now and i'm gonna take a few pictures so i hope you have an amazing day be safe and i'll see you in the next one